This is Ryan Elliott from Boxing Social in association with Betfred here with successful David and Chloe Watson. Chloe, big smile on your face. How much did you enjoy that? Um, I'm a good kid. All right then. Um, I really enjoyed that. You probably could have, um, could tell by the smile on my face. So yeah, it was good. What was going through your mind? Obviously, first professional fight, and Ricky was telling me you actually haven't fought in a while anyway. I'm a draw professional. What was going through your mind when you were walking in the ring? What were you feeling? Well, I said yesterday, I just wanted to enjoy every moment of it, really soak it in. Um, I haven't been out for two years, but I haven't been in for two years. But it made me really want to like keep hold of the moment even more because I've really missed it, if you know what I mean. So I was really looking to enjoy tonight, and I feel like I did that, so I'm happy. Talking about the performance then, uh, shut out points win, pretty good night's work. You must be happy with the performance as well. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with the performance. Um, it was good, I enjoyed it. I felt like I worked off my job well. Um, if anything, I f felt like I could have went in a little bit more, but um, I was looking to get them rounds in, so, you know. What was Ricky saying in between rounds? Um, <laughs> wanting the info. <laughs> um, he was saying, just go back to it, take, me, take, me, take myself back to the um, really fight. Right. Yeah. Um, he was saying, just to work off the job, sometimes come to the body and bring that um, overhand right, because I like that shot. Um, and then, yeah, just working off the job really and just the movement and just defending well. You were stuck in Australia for a bit during COVID. I know you were in the gyms up and down there and kind of decided you want to turn professional. But since you've been with Ricky, how much do you feel you've learned from him already? <clears throat> yeah, a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. Because like, I feel like now that I've turned over like professional, like a lot of work just goes in, into you as a boxer, not like you as a team. I mean, I'm all about the team effort most definitely but I'm also all about like learning and like that one-on-one -on -one work you know it it works well with me so the fact that obviously like the lead up to this fight and stuff I've had like six weeks to prepare for one fight so I've got no excuses come fight night and um, and I feel like I'm learning not a lot and there's so much more to learn so much more to learn and I think I'm really excited about that I think Ricky is too I think Lane is too Um yeah I enjoy working with them both so it's good stuff atmosphere was brilliant when you came out. I know you said Mad Mazza's ringside, having a couple of drinks and enjoying herself. Could you hear her at all when you were in the ring or anything like that? Did you notice? <laughs> oh, Mad Mazza. Um, no, I, mean, I think my nan likes to keep quiet when I'm fighting, believe it or not. Um, but I hear my dad and stuff like that. They shot some mad stuff. Like on my first ever fight, yeah. Like he's got the video out. I was that excited for my first fight that the referee jumped, like obviously got in the ring and that. Like we went to... We went to touch gloves, came back to the corner, and then I just went flying at the girl. And my dad's like, that, yes, Chloe, yes, Chloe. And then the referee stops it and was like, everyone's like, like, boo, what are you doing, ref, what are you doing? And the bell hadn't even went, and then everyone was laughing, because obviously I was just so eager to get going. My, my dad's were like, five and sixes, Chloe. But um, yeah, I can, I can hear my dad, I um, can hear a good, a good few in my family, but yeah. I think I'm right in saying Ebony Bridges is here, and she, she came back and saw you after the fight, is that right? Yeah, I've yeah. seen her properly, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go see her in a minute, but yeah, she came up and said well done. That's very nice of her. Now, look, obviously I'm sure you very much had a good night tonight. How fast do you want to be back out after experiencing that? As soon as possible, yeah. I'm ready to go now. Um, this is the start of the journey, so get me out there again. I'm, I'm prepared to train over Christmas and I'll, I'll be out whenever. Well, look, Chloe, congratulations. Enjoy your night. I'm sure we'll catch you again soon.